All right, so I have in my hand one of the most influential pairs of sneakers that I think nobody's really talking about right now. And so I wanted to shed some light on this model and what it means to sneaker culture in general, but also just show you guys a new colorway that I found on Adidas website. Thought was really cool. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. This is, as the box says, the Adidas Crazy One. And I know some of you guys might not know what the Adidas Crazy One is and you might not know what this model represents. So hopefully I'll shed some light on why this shoe is so impactful and important uh, in this video. So although this is called the Adidas Crazy One, that's not the original name of this model. It was actually called the Kobe. That's right, this is actually Kobe's signature model that he wore in 2000 when it came out and he won an NBA championship, his actual first NBA championship in this model. In 20 seasons in the NBA, Kobe Bryant played in 15 All-Star games, four MVP from those games, five NBA championships, season MVP, finals MVP times two, and two-time Olympic gold medalist. And we know that Kobe has a long lineage of Nike sneakers that released, but before that he had a handful of pairs of Adidas. This is one of those pairs. And another fun fact about Kobe Bryant being with Adidas, it was actually Peter Moore who brought him to Adidas and really jump-started the whole Kobe and Adidas relationship. The iconic Peter Moore who actually passed away, unfortunately, is responsible for such crazy things like the Wings logo for the Air Jordan 1s, helped designing the Air Jordan 1s and partially the Air Jordan 2s. He helped sign Kobe Bryant to Adidas in 1996. Kobe had a couple models here and there that he played in, but this one specifically was known as the Kobe. Now I know the shape and design was a bit jarring for the year 2000, but it was very futuristic and very different looking. And honestly, in today's market, it actually looks pretty fire on feet. Kind of reminds me of like a Nike foam posit vibe, but really this thing came from the inspiration of an Audi TT Roadster. That was a really fun futuristic looking Audi model. Eric Lund Nielsen was actually the main designer on the model. And I think that at the time it was definitely considered an ugly pair of sneakers, but Kobe won a championship. Again, his very first championship in the Kobe. So I feel like this has a very proper spot in today's culture, especially with the passing of Kobe. This is a piece of the history that unfortunately cannot be told from the brand's perspective because they don't own the licensing to Kobe Bryant and the ability to officially launch a Kobe sneaker again. So this is now known as a crazy one, but you can tell obviously from this colorway, it's a snakeskin colorway, Mamba, snakeskin, obviously. I think it's fire. I like the idea of the snakeskin on the print for the upper and it makes you wonder what other cool things they could do. It's not the first time we've seen a print on a pair of these. I remember back in the day I had a pair of crazy ones. It was actually a Dame Lillard pair, City of Roses colorway, and then they also had a John Wall uh, Rose colorway as well. A uh, really cool launch of those ones. But it's kind of fun looking back at the history of the crazy one or the Kobe and just getting an appreciation for the model and what this thing uh, really meant to Kobe and the fact that he was able to win his first championship. And also some notes that says the shoe incorporated Adidas new torsion system for the medial lateral foot stability during quick movements and Adiprene Plus for superb cushioning and support. Now I don't know if this version actually has Adiprene Plus on it or not. I don't see any Adiprene branding on here and I guess the last retro they didn't actually include Adiprene so I'm not sure if this one has it or not. But originally they had six colorways of the Kobe that debuted. They had the sunshine yellow, they had the mesh, the ice blue, the black, the white and the silver. The white colorway, definitely a cool one known as the Stormtrooper. The yellow one was really good. And then Adidas recently released the purple version. So can you imagine doing a yellow and purple one for those diehard Laker fans and Kobe fans? I think that would be a pretty nice look. And now these retail for $150. And the Stormtrooper colorway is actually dropping again on Saturday, 12, 17, 7 a.m. PST. I'll link it in the description for those people that are looking. So far, the other colorways have flown off shelves, including this one. They had the yellow one and then the purple one uh, pretty much all gone as well. It's kind of a cool release and definitely a very, very crazy looking sneaker. Love the history behind what this thing offers from the 2000 era. And it was just, it's just crazy to think back and like knowing that Kobe's no longer with us still. I know it's just weird to say that, but it's, it's honestly just a crazy feeling because he's such an iconic individual and his legacy is so deep. He's left like five lifetimes full of memories uh, on us with what he was able to accomplish. And I feel like this is one of those lifetimes that don't get a proper story because they can't tell it. And I kind of think back to the situation where Vanessa wasn't going to be re-signing with Nike. There was some uh, bad blood there for a minute. They weren't really sure what they were going to be doing. There was probably some opportunity for Adidas to come in and re-sign and, and re-spark that legacy so they could have actually uh, retro these as the Kobe's again and had that official branding. But, you know, things happen. It's still fundamentally the same design as it was in 2000, except for now they don't have the, the branding. But I like that there is like that hidden meaning on something like this that an average person may not even know that this was a Kobe PE shoe. And then now you guys hopefully know a little bit more about it. If you guys like the video, drop a like on the video. And again, if you guys want to buy a pair, 
I'll link them in the description. But what a cool legacy that Kobe left behind. And it's fun to be able to bring a video like this to you guys with a new colorway like the snakeskin uh, joint right here. For anybody wondering about sizing, I went true to size on mine. Fits me right, but it is a very snug fit across the toe box of the shoe because of the materials. It is a shoe made in the 2000 era, so it's not like probably the most comfortable shoe on the market, especially since Adidas makes really, really comfortable sneakers. Can you imagine though if Kobe would have stuck with Adidas all the way through? I believe he stepped away from Adidas after the Kobe 2, then he had a year of free agency where he tried on other brand sneakers, the Iversons and you know, Jordans and other sneakers on the market. And then from that point on, he had his own line with Nike and it was obviously very successful. But can you imagine if he stuck with Adidas through this era, through the Adidas Boost era? The original Boost basketball sneakers when they came out were super, super good, man. The explosives or whatever they were, I actually hooped in those ones. Uh, and it was probably my favorite basketball shoe that I've ever hooped in. It was that good. I'd have to look at the timeline to know if Adidas Boost was even created in time for Kobe to be able to ball in. But can you imagine? The other thing I wanted to mention is like the Air Jordan line from the one and two was not well well received when it originally came out especially the twos and the threes are what really sparked mj to stay with jordan brand uh through and through and then from that point on the visible window and the air and everything else was just everything that everybody remembers right but can you imagine if kobe would have stuck through adidas it really could have created a fun dynamic in the basketball space but unfortunately we'll never know and at least we have a couple pairs that we can pay homage to uh from adidas that they do release that again they just it's like the untold story they're not allowed to talk about it but anyway so if you guys enjoyed the video appreciate you guys for stopping by this colorway is just super fire though big shout out to adidas for actually sending this pair over to me i asked for this pair specifically but they don't dictate anything in the video or anything that i'm saying about the product so just wanted to clarify that but have a good one hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys are new to the channel hit the subscribe button notification bell be notified of uh when my videos are posted and hopefully we'll see you back on the channel for some more content soon all right peace guys